what's up? Welcome to today's video. So today's video is about my little old, little race car over here, like my dad likes to say. Um, we did get some new parts in for the dash and um, everything. We're about to go open them up right now. So yes, today is a video about the little race car. That's the name. That's the name for the for this build is the little race car so far until it actually builds a personality because you know cars have a personality. I don't know if it's only me and my dad that believe that, but I believe that cars have a personality. They put off like a like a vibe. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but all I know is that this thing's gonna get a name in the future, but for now it's just a little race car. Um so yeah, let's go open up that new package that I just got. I've already opened it, but it's okay. I just wanted to see, it. I got excited, so I'm gonna go show it to you guys. All right, so this is the package here. I've already gotten it all kind of opened up. Um, I'm really excited about doing this. This is a first time for me. Um, first time for, I think, of anyone that I know technically uh, that have done this. Here's the pin layout. Parts that we don't need. Bracket that we don't need. So, here it is. So this is a motorcycle cluster. Um, I'm going to be wiring it up so that I can actually use it on the EG, uh, on my custom dash, so that I don't have to worry about using the factory cluster. That's gonna have a bunch of stuff that I really don't need on it. Um, and this is a lot smaller, saves a lot of room, and it is a digital cluster. So it will have everything that I need, and um, I will be able to wire it up just by just clipping these wires and connecting them to the areas that they need to go. So that's why th this is really important. This has all like where everything goes to, and everything that it pretty much, you know, er everything that I pretty much need to wire up. It's really tiny. It's actually smaller than the switch panel that I have here, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's not too big, but honestly, I don't really mind because honestly, I don't know. I don't need too big of a cluster um, as long as I'm gonna be able to see it at the end of the day. But I think it's gonna flow really good. So right now we got to mark out the areas that we have to drill so we can actually mount this up and figure out a mounting way to do it ourselves. Might have to knock some of these little dashes off just so that we could have it more flush but for right now i think this is looking really sick and we'll figure it out that is exactly the top of this so we want to make sure that the cluster is lined up with that so it doesn't look all wonky above or below um we want it to line up perfectly uh, both the tops matching so that it's an even gap on the top completely across. Right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna lay out some tape. Try to just make a stencil around this so I can know the exact shape and just set it up on, on the dash so that I can just mark it off. Perfect. Let's get a Sharpie. Nope, it won't work if I have a blue Sharpie on blue tape. I didn't think about that. Okay, so I think I got it marked up exactly where I want to put it. This is the exact size drill bit that I need to fit the 10 through. Those two holes line up with those two holes in the back. And now we just got to screw it on. So, it'll line up there. After I take the dash out and drill this in, make sure it all fits, I'm going to cut the hole in the middle so that I could fit the wiring through there. So, I also got these holes marked up. Um, these are for these things here, so there's this, this voltmeter. It tells you pretty much how much voltage is going through the power wire. Then I have the push to start for the car. Those are both going to go right here and then there. First try! So that is the view. There is a gap on the back, but I really don't mind. There's nothing I'm not, like, I'm gonna end up seeing it. And it doesn't really bother me as long as it's actually sitting there sturdy, which it's like one with it. Um, I'm not gonna be too aggressive with it because it is just plastic on the back. Now I gotta take it off and then cut open the hole for the actual clip to pop in. Hello, how are you guys doing? Has this guy been boring the absolute shit out of you? Is he dull Dude, and I'm so... I'm boring myself. So unentertaining. Well, there is no need to fear for I am here. Yeah. He, he's got me up to speed on what it is he's doing here. So that hole right there and that hole right there, which is for mounting, that's what he's got. That hole 
and that hole for. So right in the center, he's got to make a big ass hole to fit that clip through. So that's what we are currently doing. Well, what he is currently doing. Okay. We basically drew a center line and measured an inch and a half over, inch and a half over. He's going to drill a pilot hole and then send it with a unibit and then connect the dots. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. I hate the sheeshing, bro. Dude, this whole sheesh thing, like, it's addicting. It really is. But you have no idea, like, how many sheeshes I actually have been editing out of the videos. Like, every time we do something, like, one of us is like, sheesh! And I'm like, cut, cut, <laughs> cut. God dang, there's 20 sheeshes in this video. <laughs> oh now we play connect the dots, my friend. Connecting the dots, my friend. Oh, very nice. Would you look at that, my friend? <laughs> so, I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's gonna work perfect, all right? Alrighty, so we got the cluster all put in and we got the... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got the hole in the back all done. Uh, make sure that the clip could go in and you could actually fit your thumb in and pull it out and be good. Um, now we just have to drill these holes. Dude, it looks so much cleaner if I just did that. It'll actually flow with the other. Woo! Boy! That and like that. Oh, instead of this thing. Sheesh! Dude, it'll flow so much better. Yep, that's how it's gonna be. God dang, boy. Look at that. Looks so good. Oh, I'm so hyped. All right, bet. Let's finish this up. I'm gonna sand off all these Sharpie marks and then go ahead and call it good with that and start wiring it up. Here you go. Dude, that thing fits in there like butter, bro. I don't even understand. I might have to black out this chrome piece, which is definitely the plan. Alrighty, do the final reveal of what it's gonna look like. Jeez, bro. I think it looks great. I'm gonna pull the plastic off after I'm done doing all the wiring. It's actually inside the car, um, so I don't scratch it up at all, because I don't want to scratch it. These bro flow so good with all these switches. The yes, sir. I gotta wire it all up. It looks so good. Now when it's painted black, that's the spot. Alrighty, so this is actually all ready and um, set up to start wiring tomorrow. Um, as you see, all I have to do is plug in that plug and then run all the wires together and plug them all into where they need to go, run it up, and it will be connecting to, so all these wires will be connecting to here, and this is the quick connect connector that is going to be making the dash a quick release dash. So all the wiring will go through here and come out this side and it'll pop off just like that so and it pops on pretty simple too I don't know if I could do it with one hand oh there we go I can so then this will connect to all the chassis because this these will be running to the relays onto the actual car then running to the ECU then to running to the tail like the tail lights running to this running to that so pretty much all the wiring from the dash where it controls it control panel all runs to here and that where it all goes to the accessories pretty much so I'm making it so where I can just unbolt the dash and then just boop and then the dash will be disconnected. I don't have to worry about disconnecting no grounds or anything. So it'll be a quick release dash in case I have to get underneath and uh, mess with any of the wiring. Alright, so that's it for tonight. I'm really tired. It is, it's only 12.20 but I'm just, I'm beat. Um, I was waiting all day for that. Uh, for that cluster to come in and it finally came in but it came in all late and it was already dark by the time it came in so yeah um, tomorrow we're gonna be doing wiring and I can show you guys my step-by-step -step of what I do and show you guys some tips and tricks that I know of 
um, for wiring than I do. So, either I see you tomorrow or I don't. So, see you. <laughs> Peace.